Hello, my name is Gloria Gerd. I am the mother of makeup art. I paint beautiful pictures with makeup. I am also the traveling folk artist. I travel all around the country and all around the world. Then I come back to Baltimore and paint the pictures with makeup. This video is going to be about my travels around Baltimore City. I went to one of my best places ever, and that is the American Visionary Art Museum, better known as AFAM. I went to their happy hour there. Uh, this was a wedding happy hour because uh, I have been married to my husband 20 years this year, and AVAM um, have a space for weddings. I went to this wedding happy hour, and I talked to wedding planners. I talked to floors, I talked to DJs, and it was just wonderful. I also talked to salespeople from uh, hotels because when people come, they need some place to stay. And one hotel, if you block 10 rooms off, you get a discount. There was a wonderful guitarist there, and guess what? I got a free CD, and there were wonderful caterers there, and guess what? They gave you samples of free food. It was just really wonderful. Then the next event that I went at AVAM was called Yummy Food Crisis to Innovative Delight. Y'all, I saw one of my favorite people, Ernestine Shepard. She is an 80 year old body builder. And you know what she said? She said she eat right, she exercise and drink plenty of water. You all good as she look? That's, that's what I'm going to do. You all, um, also, there were two artists there that used plastic as their medium. Let me tell you what they do. They collect plastic from the ocean. And after they collect the plastic from the ocean, you all, they put the plastic together, all one color oranges, blues, and greens, and yellows, and then they use a high power lens, and they take the picture. You all, they get this plastic from the Keogh um, Beach in Santa Barbara, California. Also, I learned that if you go to the ocean and pick up a cup of water, there's plastic in it everywhere. You know what they told us to do? Do something to save the environment. You might not be able to pick plastic up from the beach, Okay, but what I do is I'll wash dishes. Uh oh, my husband might be looking. He washes, <laughs> he washes dishes. But I do not buy paper products or I do not buy plastic products, and I say no to plastic bags. I really enjoyed both of these programs at AVAM because I am an AVAM visionary artists. They've been buying my work for 12 years, and you can see it at the gift shop. The next place I went to was the Merlin Art Place, Out of Order Benefit. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. They had a call for artists, and you had to install your own art. So I go down there, and I had my art. It was a musical piece, and I see all this hardware all around, and I didn't know what to do, because my husband usually installed my pieces. Luckily, another artist came up and asked me, do you know what you're doing? I said, no, I do not. <laughs> and Cheryl, after you all, she installed my work for me. I was just so <laughs> happy that she did that. Now, there was the party. So the artist got a chance to go to the party, and I thought that was really nice. And I met some wonderful artists at this party. One was... Arthur Brown, y'all, he did a beautiful picture with a, a man and woman facing each other. I just loved it. And then there was Antonio Moore. He did a picture of Jimi Hendrix, and he put real hair <laughs> on Jimi Hendrix. You all, um, LaShawn Reed, I met her there. There was a photographer um, there that I met, Bonnie J. Scoop. And uh, she did a beautiful picture of water. It was just beautiful. Felt like you could just touch this water. And this lake or river was in, in Baltimore City. So that was just really, really nice. Another person was Al Miles. 
you all. She did a beautiful picture uh, with a woman, and then it was just things around her, and it was called Free Chaos. That was really nice. Then um, I met another artist, John Fowles, and we started talking to each other, and guess what I found out? That he is going to be one of the artists at the Behavior Health Awareness Art Show that is hosted by the First Lady of Maryland. Um, I was picked for this show, too, because we use our art to challenge behavior health issues in Maryland. Um, the reception is going to be April 24th, 5 to 7 p.m. Um, in Annapolis. You can read more about it at behaviorhealthartshow.com. You all, I just enjoyed um, all these events. And my next place I'm going to go is Rome, so look forward to that video. I'll see you later.